Okay, um... This is this is all taken from today. There was tons. They, there was a literal armada of chem planes um, today. You know, I saw them this morning uh, out in the horizon this this early early morning. And you know, I can't. You know, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe that's just some, you know, uh, what do you call it? Just some some normal f like f like cloudiness fog because it it looked like it was old chem. It was old chemtrails, so it's like you can't really tell, but it, and it was all formed together. Um, so I was like, all right, maybe, because it was clear out where I was at. It was really nice, and, like, I'm really hopeful. I'm really, really hopeful when it comes to, like, having good weather. So, um, because I want to be proven wrong, you know. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm, I should never doubt myself, though, because some, you know, I was like, yeah, you know what, whatever. But I was right. Uh, it was, it was, um, chem trailing, and then all the stuff came towards me, uh, later in the afternoon. This is around, like, 2, yeah, like, 2.30, and this is when I was leaving the gym, and you, like, you could just see the, you just, like, this is a literal armada of chem planes, is what you're about to see. Um, unbelievable, all going in the same direction, too. Uh, just... D disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. They were non-stop uh, from time I got out of the gym. Well, from me going to the gym, from me leaving the gym and getting home, and they're still out there right now as I record this. Uh, this is all February 22nd, 2016, by the way. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, like, you think this is normal. You know, like, people think this is normal. It isn't. You know, and, and like here's the thing, you know, got the the people I tell about this, right? Like I they never they never come and like say like, hey, thank you for like waking me up, you know, thank you for, you know, helping me realize what's going on above my head, you know? Like no one ever comes and and, and it's not they don't need to thank me either. They can at least just say, like, hey, did you see them out today? Like, did you see how much they were spraying? You know, it's always me that has to initiate this, you see? Like, people just, most most of them just don't care at all. They do not care one single bit. They just, you know, they don't, and, 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 like, they always ask, what can I do? And I'm like, talk about it. You, you research it, okay? Like, I give them all the resources they need. I tell them everything that they need to know about uh, geoengineering, terraforming, chem chemtrails, uh, chem train, uh, chem planes, and, you know, and talk about it, tell your neighbor, tell your friends, tell your family, you know, uh, inform yourself and inform others, because that's what, that's what people should do, people should communicate with each other, regardless of any kind of preconceived notion, you know, as it, you can talk about anything you want, and a person should be intelligent enough to re to reciprocate that and understand your position, you know. But people aren't intelligent enough to do these things. They're they're so it, like people. The schooling system has trained people to not know how to solve problems, not know how to communicate. You know, they're tr they're just trained to be in a social class and spend money and be a consumer. That's about it. You know, they're task-driven slave zombies, uh, you know, all run by these demonic elitists, materialistic psychopaths. Um, this sky is disgusting. This is disgusting. And because this was around, it's actually around, I th I, now that I remember a little bit better, it's around 3 o'clock. Um, because I was like, you know what, oh... Because at 2 o'clock, the temperature was around like 47 degrees, right? And it's these fog machine clouds, these heating pad clouds. You know, when this thing got to me, it actually got up to, I think it was like 51. 51 degrees, and it went from like 49 to 51. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, like you're not, that, you're not supposed to get hotter when there's a cloud, okay, when there's a fog, mass fog, it's not supposed to get hotter in the winter time. Um, 
and this is and this is talking about uh, this whole revelation of what's going on with the moon, right? Why does the moon emit cold light while the sun emits this hot light? So what are they blocking out? What what is what is what exactly are they blocking out with this? That's why I have to, that's that's why I need to know. That's what I question is you know that's why I take vitamin D supplements every single day. Uh, vitamin D, you need it. You need to get the sunlight. That's you know people need to be out there getting sunlight because we photosynthesize just like plants. Uh, we photosynthesize vitamin D, which is a fat soluble supplement. We need it. Um, and like. So what are they doing? What are they blocking out? You see that rainbow halo that's coming around there? Like, what are they blocking out? Uh, this is very important to ask because the thing is, the amount of actual sunlight, clear blue sky sunlight that we get is so minimal now because of how much is being blocked out and how much of... Uh, this is this is just a normal day of chemtrailing, okay? Uh, other than the fact that there was like dozens of planes um which i'm sure these aren't really planes they're they're probably drones or some kind of advanced machine things up there they're not real these aren't real planes i don't think but uh anyways i lost my train of thought but i mean look at them look at them they're i mean they're stacked up one by one by one by one and you'll see a lot of these they're just right next to each other you know i mean look just look look at them I, this is unbelievable and I think I actually missed the video of uh, there was some some kind of black object that was in between these two chem planes. Uh, it was really it was really really hard to see because I'm looking far in the distance. Like if this was over my head, it would have been huge. But this thing was so far away, but it was so visible to the naked eye because it wasn't leaving anything. You know, like you can only see these. Ca you only know there's a plane flying over you because it leaves the, a massive chemtrail. You know, like this mat. The size of these planes up in the sky is like smaller than like a pinhead. You know, it's like this, these things are so small that, and all they leave behind are these massive chemtra chemtrails, massive chemtrails. And this bl this was this black object that was in between two of two of these trails following right behind these two planes um but where it was though it was like right along them but it was because it was black and it wasn't doing anything uh other than just moving along with the planes like what was that and if that was actually over my head it would have been huge all right i mean this is look how far away these things these things are like this is you know like where we're always looking at was like right to the bottom left, like where you see that one plane doing it right there. So I don't know what that was, but that was really strange because you don't see things like that that high up um, in black. You don't see color that easily that far away, um, that high up. So that was, and especially with with this backdrop, this backdrop, like, it's blinding, you know, this is why people think it's a clear day out, this is why people think it's a nice day out, because they're so blinded by this white mass over them, you know, it's disgusting, just look at them, I was, you know, I've seen worse, oh, I've seen much worse, but, you know, these when you it it you it the shock never surprises me at all i'm never surprised and look at this you know cops how many cops do you need for like a little traffic accident you know there's like three two squad cars and one of those unmarked suv pig cars like you know pigs dude this is a police state you know people don't understand that democracy is mob rule that's what a demo this country is supposed to be a republic but we're in a democratic police state, and a democracy is mob rule. People need to understand that. There's a mob-ruled police state. There are so many cops. Why don't those cops go read a book to some kids, huh? Why don't they stop picking on the, the uh, middle-class people and giving them tickets and, uh, you know, they're, all they are is tax-collecting goons. That's all they are. They don't do anything good anymore. Out here in these little towns in Pennsylvania, all they do is pick on people. They're a bunch of thugs. I hate I hate those cops. They're thugs. 
and they're idiots. These are 50 IQ uh, dunces. And here we go. Look at the shadow. Look at the shadow from this chemtrail. Look at that. Look where that shadow is, okay? This is something, until I realized that the Earth was flat, I didn't really think about them. But that shadow is above that chem, tr chem tr uh, trail, okay? I've seen, I've taped this many times before, and I've had, they're on my previous videos. Look at where that shadow is, okay? Those, that cloud is underneath, okay? So that shadow is above that cloud. Now, how can that happen if the sun is where they say it is? How is that possible? How is that even how is that even fathomable to even think about that? Um, with that 93 million mile distance, you know, light is basically hitting us parallel. So how is that even? So I mean. You know, I, I've never mentioned it before because I'm only gaining my common sense back. My common intellect is returning to me. So this is why I can point these things out now. But just look at that horizon. Look at that disgusting, disgusting fog mass. And you can see the ripples throughout this entire thing here. Uh, they're all they're going parallel with each other. And so you can see some of them are going in different directions. It's like, it's like, uh, this is, um... Like when you see like beach sand, you know this is I see this all the time where it looks like a beach, you know like it, it you you know that's this isn't real moisture, this isn't real uh, natural uh, moisture formations, okay? This is particulates in the sky making these little clusters of shit, you know this is cloud seeding, and look just look at that shadow, all right? That's that is. I, I need to start watching out for those things a lot more, cause that's that's messed up. That's uh, this is why I know the Earth is flat right here. Okay, I that's why I know. Very 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 interesting, very telling. All right, the these guys are actually helping me understand this flat Earth even more. And I, I already know it. I know it. I, I don't. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I know it is flat. I got, even if they say it's round, I actually have my own idea of how, like how it can be perceived as round. But that makes an anomaly, a perfect point, uh, a perfect point because of, uh, this is this is all uh, philosophy. I'm, I don't want to go into it, uh, but it's flat, and this is this is help. This helps prove it even more. But just look at the sky. Look how disgusting that is, you know. This is, you know, people think this is a normal thing right here, you know. And and this isn't all of it either. Like I'm only showing this point. Yeah, see, you see me moving over some more. I'll my I'll, I'll start videotaping some of that. Yeah, look at this fucking person, right? Just like staring at their phone, you know, walking. Why are you even out? Why are you even out walking if you're just gonna stare at your fucking phone, you know? Like, look around you. Look at, look at, look at the trees and look at the bushes and look at the sky at least. At least look up, you know. Don't stop looking down at your phone, you know. What, what's the problem here? But yeah, look at. The, I mean, just look at the sky here. Disgusting. Uh, you know, I, I and, and like I don't see anybody anymore. There's always just you know I saw that one person and then like you won't see anybody else for a while. You know what are the, what are they doing? What are you even thinking about? I don't, what do people even do on their phones? I don't even know what people do on their phones. I, I, is it really? I do, do you really need to text people that much? What the fuck do people text that much for? Uh, you just like surfing the internet. You know what what are you looking up? You know like if you're not looking up like truthful informative things like. Even things just like on like philosophy or history, like what the fuck are you gonna look up? You know what are you looking up for? Fucking, I don't know some that Illuminati fucking music on that they play that fucking Rihanna demonic shit music that Kanye West fucking demonic shit. Uh, just look at this, all right? This is what's going on. Instead of people fucking looking up music videos of demonic hypnotizing fucking uh, symbolism. Look at this shit, alright? Instead of listening to lyrics, 
you know, these disgusting lyrics that they that they have in their music that doesn't make any sense because it's all Twilight language and it's all this like empowering feminist shit that's tearing the world in half. All right, that's why I hate feminism because it's tearing the world in half. No matter what you do, there's always going to be rotten eggs on both fem the female side and the male side. But you don't tear the world in half, male and female, because you were picked on in school for being a fat chick. You know, that's what we call growing up and becoming a fucking responsible human being and overcoming obstacles. All right, trials and tribulations happen every goddamn day, and you got to learn how to fucking deal with it. All right, there's a fucking radi the radar tower over there, one of those RF towers, cell towers. GPS towers. People need to start waking up and they need to start realizing that God is within us. God is all around us and you we can't just ignore all the shit that's going on. All right? I know what's going on and I tell people, all right? And I I I I I, pr I profess, you know, my all like I I've I've done stupid shit in the past, you know, but I repent, you know, but no one repents anymore. No one, no one's willing to talk about the shit that they do or the shit that they've done, and no one's willing to talk about the truth anymore. All they want to talk about is all this bullshit all day, all this dumb nonsense like sports and fucking politics. This is all stupid shit. All right, look at look how fast this plane's going. This thing is going immensely fast. I came and I, I've I, like I very rarely pay attention to how fast they're going because I just film all day of just what they're doing. But it wasn't until I saw this one that I, I, I start understanding, or I'm, I'm reminded again, of how fast some of these things are going. Uh, not all of them go at the same speed, but these two that are trailing each other, like, you'll see them. This one right there starting, and you see him only leaving. A, this must be a certain type of chemical, certain type of aerosol that he's spraying, that it doesn't leave a persistent trail. All right, And then you'll see the one coming up right behind him, Right, this one is leaving a persistent trail, uh, and they're both they're both trailing each other. I think the one in front is going a little bit faster, but if you look at the speed that these things, are, it's so fast, so so fast. You know, and look at the shadow too. You can see these shadows, like the the way that the shadow is going here as well. You know, these are actually underneath that fog, that fog layer, that ozone layer. Messed up. Messed up. Screwed up. People need to wake up. Alright? If they don't wake up, they're gonna, they're, they're, they're gonna pay for it. That pendulum swing always comes right back in their face. Alright? The people who are enjoying life right now and think that wearing clothes made by slaves and poor children, alright, people who think that's a good life, they're gonna pay for it in the end. All right, people need to start waking up and realizing the truth. Because if they don't, they're going to pay for it. And they, these people need to repent. And they need to start talking with each other and showing the truth. All right? Sorry this was such like a hateful thing, but, you know, can't help it sometimes. Peace, everybody. Peace and love. God bless.